744, have you ever wondered where all of those Chicago street names come from? Yeah, and there's so many. Yeah. Seven is on the streets this morning, and Roz is taking a closer look at the ones downtown. You know I'm such a history buff, so this yeah. is right up my alley. So, anyway, did you all know that when Chicago was incorporated in 1837, it was 10 square miles and a handful of streets. Today, the city has over 4,000 miles of streets with more than 2,500 different names, and that includes numbers and letters. You'll find many of Chicago's early street names downtown within the original city border bounded by Lake Michigan, North Avenue, Wood Street, and 22nd Street. Some names are easy to figure out. How do you think Dearborn got its name? Uh, Fort Dearborn? Fort Dearborn was a U.S. Army outpost uh, on Michigan Avenue near Wacker Drive. Henry Dearborn was Thomas Jefferson's Secretary of War. The name was given to the fort, and then the fort stuck around to the mid. 1800s, and then the street took the name of the fort. Who do you think Kinsey Street is named after? Oh, Kinsey? I'm not 100% sure. John Kinsey was an early Chicago settler. He traded with the Native Americans and had a cabin along the Chicago River. He's also known for having committed one of the first recorded murders in Chicago history. He murdered John Lalime. After the murder, he hid out in the woods, and the local police in the early 1800s deemed that he had acted in self-defense. Another thing you may not know about John Kinsey, his great-granddaughter, Juliet Gordon Lowe, was founder of Girl Scouts of the USA. Didn't mince anyone? One of the city's most famous streets has been featured in movies, is a great shortcut through the loop, and was part of Daniel Burnham's 1909 plan of Chicago. How do you think Wacker Drive got its name? I have no idea. Charles Wacker was a brewer and a real estate developer. He was part of the Chicago Planning Commission in the early 20th century, around 1909. He was a real enemy of bad traffic. So he, wa he wanted to see traffic flow more smoothly through downtown Chicago. Finally, Congress Parkway. Urban legend says it was originally named Tyler Street after our 10th president. And there is a story that sometime between 1861 and 1865, he became a supporter of the Confederacy and basically went from the Union side to the Confederate side. Ah, wow. Totally urban legend because nothing was there to substantiate it. Really? But they said, hey, you're going to be a Confederate. We're not naming a street after you. We're going to call it Congress. Right. And, of course, Congress went on to become the Eisenhower Expressway. Right. Uh -huh. So, yeah. fascinating. It well, thank is. you to Mr. Wack. I was about to say, he is my favorite. <laughs> right. Boy, did he have a crystal ball, right? My hero. I don't yeah. like that traffic. Get it out of here. Lower Wacker. Phew, nice. Love it. Best shortcut. Yeah. Love right. the story. <laughs>